Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. We can concatenate series and data frame objects using the pandas concat method. Here's a simple example of concatenation. Let's start with two series objects. So, here we have S1 and S2. These are two series objects. And let's concatenate them using the concat method. As you can see, the indices overlap. You may want to specify them explicitly to avoid this, so we can specify the indices like so. Let's recreate our two series objects and concatenate them again. And now we get this. And now an example with two data frames. First, let's create a function to quickly create data frames. Let's use a comprehension for that. So here's a function. This function will be used to create data frames for us. Let's run this code to be able to use this function. And now let's create the first data frame using this function. So here's a function and here we pass columns and indices. And our data frame looks like so. Now let's create the second data frame. Here we pass ABC for the columns and 4, 5 and 6 for the indices. And what we get is the following, the second data frame. And now let's concatenate the two. So we use the concat method again and here we pass the two data frames. What we get is the following. As you can see, by default data frames are concatenated row-wise. If you want to change this behavior, you can specify the axis for the concatenation to take place along. So let's concatenate column-wise. We just have to specify axis and set it to 1, which is for columns. And now we get this. This time, these two data frames are concatenated column-wise. OK, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.